So we're going to be dividing by fractions using this really cool model. Um, and so the idea here is to say, how many halves are there in one, two, three, four, five holes, right? Five divided by a half. Well, each hole has two halves. And there are five holes, so we have to do five times two, or ten. That's too many words, just count the pink. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And we'll keep practicing. Don't worry. So here, we're going to count the orange tiles, right? Because we're saying each orange tile is a fourth. And we want to see how many there are in ten ones. So each one has four fourths, naturally. And there are ten of these red pieces. So if we do ten times four, we get forty. So there are forty orange pieces. You could also actually count them all, but this saves us time. So how about this? How many fourths are there in eight ones? Well, each one has four fourths, and there are eight ones. So we do eight times four, and we get 32. How about this? Well, we have each nine divided by a third. Each one has three thirds. So how many orange tiles are there in all? Nine times three, or 27. How about this? Seven divided by a fourth. Well, each one has four fourths. So how many ones are there? There are seven ones, right? So we have to do four times seven equals 28. That's what 7 divided by a fourth is. It's saying how many fourths fit into 7? 28 fourths fit into 7. Five divided by one half. Well, there are two halves in one. There are five ones in all, so we get 10. Now, of course, you could just do this by saying 5 is 5 over 1, and then 1 half is, you know, dividing by 1 half is like multiplying by 2 over 1, so you get 10. So you could do it with the computations, but this is cool to help you see what's actually happening. Eight divided by a third. So here are three thirds. And there are eight of these such tiles. So eight times three equals 24. Here, there are four fourths in a tile. And there are six red tiles. So we have six times four equals 24, right? Six how many fourths go into six? 24 fourths. How about this? Well, you probably see the pattern now is just taking this five and multiplying by this denominator, right? But the reason is, is that there are four of these in each one, and there are five ones. So that's five times four, which is 20. And finally, there are three thirds in one red one. So three times eight gives us 24 thirds in eight red ones. Take a sneak peek at this next level here. And just to finish off, we have three thirds in one one, but we have three ones, so this should equal nine. Three divided by third is nine. All right, friends, you know, we have to do this one, right? Look, there, there, there's the new color, we gotta do this one. 
How many fifths in one one? Five. How many ones? Six, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. So five times six equals 30. Okay. Have a great afternoon.